All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, this was one of the more eventful, the more exciting uh, tr deadlines in sports history that I can remember. This is honestly why I love the NBA. This was this was great, honestly, guys. Uh, a lot of moves today, a lot of key moves today, a lot of uh, things that might shape up the Eastern Conference Finals, maybe the Western Conference Finals for years to come. Um, we even had a battle between the, the sources, uh, between Woj and Shams. That was a great match right there. Woj washed Shams. He, he cleaned them up. <clears throat> Hit him with a few of those, man. Um, he beat them to almost every big trade. So that's what kind of made it exciting, man. I didn't leave, I didn't leave my bed for like two hours. I didn't turn on the TV. I didn't watch, uh, I didn't turn on the video game, none of that. So I was just I was just on Twitter looking at, at look waiting for all the updates, looking at all the memes that was happening. But now that we got that out the way, let's talk about some of the actual trades. So first of all, the Cleveland Cavaliers made a trade that I didn't see coming. They sent the first the first trade was um it was uh Isaiah Thomas and Shannon Fry to the Lakers for Jordan Clarkson. Larry Nance in the late in the uh cast also in the cast first round pick so that was the first trade of the day from that that's what I at least that's what I woke up to yeah so uh and it was a protected first round pick as well so uh then the next trade after that the Cavs like nope we're not done yet they they end up going to get Rodney Hood George Hill um in a three team deal which would send George Hill and Rodney Hood to the Cavs. Uh, Joe Johnson, and Iman Shepard went, and the 2020 second round pick that they got from Miami that sent them to Sacramento, and then the Jazz received Jay Crowder and Derrick Rose. The crazy thing is, Jay Crowder was allegedly gonna sign. Like it was, he was thinking about going to. Um, they was thinking of, the Celtics were thinking about trading him to Utah early in the year. So, uh, Utah ended up getting him still. So, uh, and also it was Jay Crowder and D Rose who. There's been sources from Sham said that they're going to most likely drop D. Rose. Uh, that he's going to hit the waivers. And uh, Minnesota will pick him up. So we got that trade. Then the next one, I'm like, I'm like, if there's anybody that's safe on the Cavs, it's LeBron and it's D-Wade. And they said, nope, get that out of there, man. Uh, D-Wade, we're sending you to Miami in exchange for a, uh, a protected second-round pick. I don't even know who trades protected second-round picks, but... Um, the way back to Miami, that's a huge storyline. We got the Nuggets a little... This is where the trades start becoming, like, real regular. Like, things that's not really going to change things. But the, uh, the Nuggets send... It was a, th it was a three team uh, three-team deal that sent uh, Emmanuel Moutier to the Knicks. Doug McDermott to Dallas. And Devin Harris to the Nuggets. Um, I'm not sure who wins that trade. Uh, Moutier, the, the, the Knicks are act actually thinking about drafting him. When he when he first uh, declared for the draft, but they end up taking again Porzingis instead. So, um, they got him anyway. Um, let's see if he if he he improves there. The Knicks already have a million point guards. You got Trey Burke, you got Jared Jack, you got um Frank Nidalina, and now you're adding Emmanuel Moutier. So let's see how that works out. I'm not sure if it will. Um, who gets the starting job? Will they now insert Moody into the starting lineup, or will he get heavy minutes over over these other guys? But I see what goes on. The Knicks might as well tank for the rest of the season for Zingas out, so they're not making the playoffs. Uh, the Pelicans they sent Dante Cunningham to the Knicks. I mean to the Nets for Rashad Vaughn from the uh to, from the Nets. So got that. Trap the Trailblazers trade of uh, No Vaughn late to the Bulls. So rights to Milokan. Rakovic, I have no idea who that is, but I'm pretty sure that's a player overseas who they drafted, and they probably got him stashed somewhere. Um, okay, they didn't get Tyreek Evans, didn't go anywhere. DeAndre Jordan didn't go anywhere. The Wizards traded Sheldon Mack to the Hawks. I'm not even, I'm not even sure who who that guy is. I've seen his name, but I've never seen him play. He's not of any importance, so. Those were the main trades for the day, but it was just so it was just so crazy to see how the Cavs third thing up. They pretty much clean house. I'm actually gonna do another video saying who I think won the trade. Uh and if I give the Cavs an edge over the Celtics now, because I definitely had the Celtics with the edge over the Cavs in the um in the Eastern Conference Finals if they get if they even get to that, uh if they both get there and play each other. So 
Uh, I still think the Celtics are the best team in the East. Do I? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's a troll. But um, I'll definitely talk about talk about that in another video. Um, this was just a this was just a recap of the video, man. We're gonna break it down to other parts and say who I think want to trade. Uh, what the what moves I think should have been made for some other teams, and that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Um, that's it. So, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, even though I still don't know what that does. So maybe one day somebody will tell me. And uh, leave some comment. Leave some comments in the uh, comment section below. I'm out. Screw.